welcome back to my channel um, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you Consig Health Services at Consig we provide um, antenatal care labor postnatal and all your care needs I know some of you know that I am a health um, care professional that is um, a nurse and a midwife so some of you have um, asked me questions um, regard, uh, regarding your pregnancy and COVID-19. So I'd like to use this um, opportunity to answer some of the questions that you sent to me. Um, if I don't answer your question, uh, you can inbox me at tvadroa at gmail.com or you can um, also contact me through uh, my website which is um consigh.co.uk or enquiries at consigh.co.uk and i'll be happy to answer your questions to the best of my ability um i would like to also say that do not use this advice that i give you now to replace the advice your doctor or midwife will give you always consult your doctor and midwife for um, care and discussion so without further ado, um, I will not go into what um, COVID-19 is and what to do to stay safe. I'm sure you, by now, everybody is aware what to do, staying home, washing your hands, social distancing, and all of that. I'm going to focus mainly on COVID-19 and pregnancy. So I'll dive into the question. So the first question is, should you avoid going to the hospital or keeping your hospital appointment for pregnant women if you are pregnant and the advice i have regarding this is that always talk to your doctor or midwife at this time when when you are pregnant you normally have a lot of hospital appointments where we check both you and your baby to make sure that you both are okay now, due to the pandemic, um, I know that it's advised that people stay home and not come to the hospital. So before you make that decision, contact your doctor and midwife to discuss whether or not your appointment could be done on the phone or could be cancelled for um, another date. Right, I am fully aware that there are some appointments that your midwife or doctor would recommend that you come in. If you go to the hospital, make sure you um, observe the local guide, uh, guidelines, which may include social distancing, making sure you wash your hands uh, regularly while you're at the hospital. Um, if you are coughing, make sure you get your, your, your mask and have it on. And talk to your doctor and midwife um, as to what uh, you should do to keep yourself safe while you attend your appointment. The next question I'm going to answer is that, is it dangerous uh, to get COVID-19 while pregnant? Well, with, with regards to that, um, I should say that there is little information regarding COVID-19 and pregnancy. What we do know is that it's best to avoid getting COVID-19 while you are pregnant. Um, there has been uh, some research to suggest that um, women who are pregnant do not get sicker than women who are not pregnant um, however if there is an underlying condition like lung problem diabetes high blood pressure um, yeah, that kind of condition before getting pregnant then the possibility of you getting sicker is higher than someone who doesn't have these conditions so remember pregnancy in itself is a normal physiological process when you are pregnant you are not sick it's just a normal thing growing a baby inside you however if there is a condition there prior to the pregnancy which is diabetes the things that i've mentioned before then the possibility of you being affected more is higher than a woman who doesn't have any underlying health condition and pregnant if you are at the early stages of your pregnancy i.e between four to six weeks then it is very very important that you protect yourself because um if you get high temperature during this time 
then you're at a high risk that um, there may be some problems with the development of the baby's brain and the spine. However, this is not mainly due to COVID-19, any high temperature. So although we know that COVID-19 um, may let you get high temperature, you may not have COVID-19, but you also get high temperature for any other reason. That high temperature puts you, your baby at risk of some sort of brain and spine problem. So the advice here is that stay well, stay um, safe, make sure that you look after yourself, you wash your hands well, you know, you observe the social distancing so as not to get sick at this early on in your pregnancy. Unless another reason exists, with the little information available, it seems that when a mother is sick with COVID-19 at the time of birth, um, it appears that one out of 20 babies may show signs of infection uh, in a few days post their delivery. So after you give birth in a few days, if you had COVID-19, it seems that one out of 20 babies may show signs of this um, infection. The next question is, is it dangerous for my baby to get COVID-19 um, after birth? Now, I'm, different countries will have different advice, uh, different advice regarding this. You need to seek your doctor's or midwife's um, advice as to what to do. However, it is often suggested that if you feel well, then you have to stay with your baby. If you feel unwell, seek your doctor's advice if you have to care for your baby make sure you wash your your hands frequently if you are coughing make sure you have mask on when you are caring for your baby and um, make sure that if you are sleeping there is some space between you and the baby uh, this will minimize the risk of um, you passing something on to your baby so the best way to minimize the risk of your baby getting the virus is to make sure that um, you don't touch your baby's face make sure that you wash your hands before you touch the baby make sure that you don't sneeze or cough around the baby make sure that people wash their hands and also um, use uh, sanitizers before touching the baby and uh, just make sure that you apply the general rule and advice which your local um, country, uh, your local. The next question is, can I breastfeed if I have COVID-19? Now, as I always say, make sure you check with your doctor and midwife. However, few women who had COVID-19 had their breast milk tested and it appears that there was no um, there was no COVID-19 or the virus found in the breast milk. So based on this, it appears that it is safe to breastfeed your baby if you have COVID-19. But make sure you do not um, pass this on to your baby by sneezing, touching your baby's face and all that uh, previous ones that we've talked about. But check with your doctor or midwife before you decide to breastfeed your baby. The last question is, what if someone in my household is showing symptoms of COVID-19? As mentioned before, maintain the social distancing. Make sure the person doesn't come close to the baby. Make sure um, you, you wash your hands um, regularly. Make sure you use hand sanitizers. Make sure you are wearing, the person who is showing symptoms is wearing masks all the time to protect the other people and most importantly the baby in the house and um, if you have any if i haven't answered your question and you have another question that i didn't touch on because of time i would um urge you to inbox me and tv at gmail.com or inquiries at consite.co.uk and i'll be happy to answer all your questions i have to do this disclaimer again do not use the advice or the suggestions that I have given here as uh, to replace the ones that your doctor or midwife will give to you. 
I'll also attach a link at the end of this video for further reading if you need.